I'm going to quickly show you how to make the circuit we've been working with in Fritzing. When Fritzing opens up, you'll first see that you just have a basic breadboard there and some components or parts off to the side. The easiest way to find what you're looking for is to use the search uh, function by clicking a little um, magnifying glass uh, on the right. There's the one we want. Drag and drop it in. The next obvious component we need to find is the RGB LED. Notice that when parts come up uh, at the bottom, you can see that they are labeled through the inspector. We want common anode, which you can see here. So this is the part we want. Get that dropped in. Notice that when the pins are actually connected, you see this green glowing look uh, as if current could flow there. The next thing we need to make sure we have are the resistors. going to drag and drop it in because I want to move it a bit. Notice when you drag in the resistor or have anything highlighted, I should say, again, you can look at what's going on with it in the inspector. This happens to be, by pure luck, a 220 ohm resistor already, but we can change those values by simply typing in something else there. I want to orient this vertically so it fits nicer in the circuit, so I'm going to do that by right-clicking on it and selecting Rotate. Now, I don't want to have to keep finding new resistors and rotating them, so instead I'm just going to use copy and paste with keyboard shortcut. You can just do the same with the edit up there, but Command C, Command V produces another one. So I'm going to do that one more time, and now I have the three resistors I need. And I'm just going to drop them in like so into the positions that they need to be. Let's zoom in a bit. And we can see we have current flowing across the gap there in the breadboard, so it does look good. Next thing we have to do is just wire everything together. Notice that when you have your mouse uh, cursor hovering over any of these connection points, you see that a little wire icon shows up next to the mouse. This means you can wire it. And you do that by just dragging from one point and then dropping to where you want it to go. For our red LED, you want it to go to port 6. So I'll do that, and now I'm just going to change the color. See that it's highlighted over here. Well, no, I'll have to highlight it again. Over here, you can change from blue to red. And then I'm going to drag it around and clean it up and make it look a little more straight. Now I'll do the same with the others. I'd like this ground GND connection to be behind the others, so I'm going to click on it, right click on it, and then select raise and lower and go bring or send to back. And that is it.